Hi there, I'm Robin Johns and I lead the knowledge and training function here at Cato Networks. A close friend of mine has recently started in the world of IT. He said that networking is difficult, security is even harder, and I wanted to show him that he is wrong. If you have the right tools, networking security is simple, and luckily Cato Networks will make life easy for you. As such, I want to provide you my branch office any percent speedrun. So come on over. Let me show you the Kato management application. Here we are. Now, today we will be creating a site, we'll be creating a VPN user, connecting to the Kato cloud, enabling WAN firewalls and internet firewalls and anti-malware, enabling our next generation anti-malware protection as well. We'll be configuring our IPS and deploying some physical hardware. So let's get this speed run started. Three, two, one, let's go. Now, the first thing that we need to do is create a site. Creating a site is pretty simple. We come up here, click add a new site. We give the site a name. I'm going to call it home. We're going to define the, the type, branch, headquarters, cloud data center, data center. For me, I'm just configuring a branch office. We specify the connection type. I'm going for an X1500, I have it on my desk. We select a country. If you haven't guessed, I'm in the United Kingdom. So let's select the United Kingdom. Uh, let's then give it some bandwidth. The bandwidth. I have 100 meg down, I have 100 meg up. I'm not going to use a WAN 2 at the moment because I only have a single ISP connection and I'm going to advertise my local branch office range. 192.168.50.0 slash 24. Okay, saving, done. Next thing that we need to do is create a VPN user. I'm going to come once again at the top here to my users. I'm going to click on this plus icon and I'm going to create a user for myself. If I can spell my name correctly. Robin Johns, robin.johns ah, at katonetworks.com. Feel free to email, happy to talk. And I'll click OK. Now, now I've clicked OK, I'm going to be waiting for an email to come through to get my VPN user configured. So this is just going to take a few moments. Sadly, this is the thing that takes the longest because SMTP is an unreliable network transit proxy and it can take a little while for data to come through. There we go, I've received my email. I have received an email from Kato saying I am ready to activate. So I'll simply click here on the link. This will then direct me over to a website. I'll enter my super secret password and copy this. And I will save. Save my credentials. Passwords do not match. User error. Easy. I'll click save. My password is saved. I'll click OK. I'm on a Windows machine, so then I'd like to download my VPN client on this machine. I'll keep this file, it's 13 megabytes to download. I'll then get Windows to install the VPN agent. Yes please, I'd like to install version 4.7. I've read the terms and conditions before, but I'd recommend that you read the terms and conditions. Now we wait for it to install. Ah, oh, it's taking a while. Brilliant, it's finished installing. We click finish. Now we've clicked finish, I will return over to the Kato management application and launch the application on my desktop. Oh, two minutes 40, two minutes 40. Great, I've installed the software. I have my VPN agent. I'm going to use Kato login. I want to log into my example account. My username is robin.johns at katonetworks.com. And then I'm going to enter my super secret password. Ooh, click continue. I have this window. I want to connect to the Kato Cloud. I click this button. It waits. It says it's connecting. It says I've connected. I've connected for four seconds. I've connected for five seconds. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. VPN user connected. Lovely. The next thing I want to do is enable a WAN firewall. So I'm going to come up here, find the security services. And as you can see, my username has now popped up here. So I exist. I'm going to come over to the security services. Next gen WAN firewall, enable. Yes, please. Oop. Enable internet firewall. Same process, easy. I want to enable next generation anti-malware. Okay. Easy. I want to enable our next generation anti-malware to protect myself from zero day threats and alerts. Okay. Easy. I want to enable my IPS, my intrusion prevention system. Okay. Easy. 
Now, the last thing that I need to do is actually deploy a socket, some sort of physical hardware. I have here on my desk an X1500 appliance. It's just come out of, out of the box. I'm going to plug a single WAN cable into port three, and this is going direct to my ISP router. And I'll also be connecting a 12 volt DC power cable, which comes in with the box. And I'm starting to see some flashing lights and some blinking lights. So I'm just going to give that a few moments to power up because hardware, sadly, is always a limitation. Hardware is getting better. Luckily here at Kato Networks, hardware is not required. We have virtual versions of our branch offices. Uh, we have virtual versions of our sockets. So if you have a situation in which rack space is really limited or you don't want to ship sockets out places, we can do that. Okay, now we have that installed. You can see up here in the notification section, we have the number two. I'm going to click on the number two. We have a message that a new socket has been detected and we want to activate. New socket has been detected with a serial number and an IP address, and I want to activate this socket. So I click accept. I assign this socket to my home. I've just collected. I click continue. The site has been made, and now in the top corner, we have this little orange spinner. There we go. All changes pending, all changes synced. Our hardware is about to come online. I'm just waiting for this little red X to move from red X to done. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the page, the topology automatically refreshes and we have a little counter, a little ticker. So it should be done just in a few seconds. So we're currently at five minutes and 40. Uh, in doing so, I have now enabled all security protections. I am actively connected to the Cato cloud. I am secured as a home office employee. And there we go. I'm going to call this time. Oh, there we go. Five minutes and 54 seconds. We have a site configured. We have a VPN user configured and connected to the cloud. We have automatic protections from our firewalls. We have automatic IPS threat protection. You don't have to do anything else. That's all you need. Kato manages the threat feeds. You don't have to worry about security updates, patch Tuesday, any of that stuff. It's managed, it's done, everything's sorted for you. So that was a quick run through. Five minutes and 54 seconds to get a branch office done. Can you do it quicker?